Um, we I understand. am very pleased with how well our program went the first year, considering some of the challenges we faced this school year. Um, the original plan was to have a weekly news segment that featured kids in our pre-K through 12 and from our feeder schools. Um, we also wanted to have a live morning announcement segment. All of my students in the media yearbook class went remote except for one. So we had the weekly announcements the first semester until we were both out with COVID and we couldn't keep up. Next slide, please. Um, really, one of the main issues was due to COVID. We didn't have a lot of students on campus. And like I said, I only had one that stayed with me traditional all year. Um, it was very hard for her to do all of the things that we had planned. So we kind of cut down and just did a few things that we had planned. Um, our feeder schools didn't have the opportunity to participate like we had thought. But I'm hoping next year when we are kind of back to normal that everything will go as planned. Um, we have acquired all of the equipment to do live broadcast now. Our students PK through 12 will be um, giving the morning announcements and weather each day. We also plan to incorporate weekly recaps and even go live at some of our sporting events, um, graduations, awards days, and we are hoping that our feeder schools will get to participate this next year. Next slide, please. Um, one of the main benefits is our students, we don't have a lot of money and we do not have a lot of units. So a lot of our extracurricular programs, we only have um, FFA and we have VOAG. We also have um, SECLA, which is like your home ec courses, but those are really the only extra things that we offer there. So having a journalism and a digital media was something that benefits our students because today everything is going digital. And if they can have that extra to get them going and it inspires them to do more and maybe interest them in a career, something other than just what we have locally offered. I try to get them to think beyond that there are other careers. A lot of times our students only think, well, I can only be this because I live here or I can only do that. But if we can get them to see beyond in the bigger picture of things, then they might can be successful. Um, they learn new skills, photography, filming, directing, editing, and writing the script. They also learn about journalism and all types of digital media. Um, the program also helps build a community within the school and outside because we post these events on our YouTube channel and we also send them out on our Facebook. It allows our community to connect with us and become more involved. It pulled the whole school together. Our elementary are working with our high school students and vice versa. Um, so it kind of connects us as one and we all can have an idea of what everyone's doing and see all those projects. Like I'm a high school teacher, so I really don't know exactly what's going on in the elementary, but because of this program, I send students down there to do pictures and video clips and I can kind of see some of the things that they're doing in their classrooms and they can kind of see what's going on in the high school. Um, next slide, please. Um, the second semester, we mainly focused on creating PSAs and short highlights. We entered four competitions. We placed in two, and we haven't received results from the last two. Um, we were up against some very big 5A to 7A schools, so our second and third place finishes for our first year were wins to me. Um, I'm extremely proud of my student, Olivia. She was the one that stayed traditional with me. That's her in the top picture there. When we received our lighting kit, she was testing it out for us. Um, she has put in a lot of hard work and pretty much carried the whole program all year. Um, and the top right picture is some of our equipment we received. And then the bottom picture is some students working on an alcohol PSA that we did. And the other two pictures are of our students doing the weekly announcements. Um, next slide, please. I'm also grateful for all of the volunteers and extras. We had to pull pretty much anybody we could. There were some days in our high school that we only had 48 students on campus. 
so it was very difficult trying to find people to be a part of things. So I'm very grateful for all of the volunteers and extra students that just wanted to help out. Um, they weren't in the media program, but they acted and had roles in our videos. Some of them are very interested and plan on being a part next year. So it kind of worked to my benefit. I built interest in the program and got students that originally were not in it that are going to come back and help me out next year. Um, the top picture is a lot of the volunteers that helped in the Kinder Vision PSA. And that video actually was the one that has won two medals. Um, we won in the regional tech fair third place. And in the Kinder Vision regionals, we got second place with that video. And the other two photos are just some clips that we took while we were filming. Next slide, please. Um, the PSAs are very beneficial to students all over the county and the state. They're shown nationally. Uh, they discuss and cover topics relevant to issues that teens face today. Not only is it bringing the issues to light, it also allows the kids to actually put themselves in those positions and think about how they would react. Um, overall, I think we had a very successful year. I don't know, can you play the link? Will it allow you to play it? Um, we have been asked to do multiple projects for the district, and we're also doing some commercials and advertisements for local businesses, and that helps fund our program. They can buy advertisement packages, and that also gets students going out into the businesses and seeing how the film industry works and how advertisement works and communicating with businesses and individuals. Um, but overall, I was very pleased with how it turned out. We had a lot of struggles, but I feel like we overcame many of them, and we were very successful. And I want to thank SEDTRAIN so much for giving us the opportunities to have this program. Um, yes, we could have had a program, but it would not have been successful. We didn't have the money to buy the equipment that we needed to do these, like the mic and the lighting and the professional camera. Um, it would have been impossible to create quality videos. Um, I'm hoping that interest continues in this program way into the future. Thank you so much.